As many as a half million students from across the country are arriving in Washington for tomorrow's March, March for Our Lives rally. The movement is led by survivors from the Parkland, Florida shooting, where 17 students died last month. Today, ahead of the rally, a student from South High in Minneapolis urged lawmakers to make gun reform a top priority. This problem is happening in Minneapolis, Minnesota also, and that we're frightened for our life just as much as everyone else. And that it has to be something done about this. Senator Amy Klobuchar called the student led protest inspirational and credited them with getting smaller school safety bills passed. The group of passionate students from Henry Sibley High School in Mendota Heights arrived in Washington this afternoon. Their trip was funded by public donations. WCCO's Jeff Wagner is with them as they prepare for tomorrow's march. After about 20 hours, four pit stops, and a bus driver change, the students of Henry Sibley High School and their chaperones have finally made it to Washington, D.C., their hotel nearby in Virginia. But before the bus stopped, students already soaked in some sights from their seats. You could feel the excitement in the bus rise as they caught a glimpse of the Washington Monument, then the Pentagon. Suddenly, the stresses of that overnight trip disappeared as the group switched their focus to getting settled in and prepared for Saturday's March for Our Lives rally at the Capitol. Tonight, they'll work on the signs they want to carry to make sure their message will be seen and heard. We see so many statistics about those killed by guns, but it's more than just, people are more than just numbers. It's a face and a name, so I'm thinking signs that like have the names of victims. I really want to convey that um, this issue doesn't involve political parties, it doesn't involve age, it's a, it's really a human issue. It's for everyone because public schools are for everyone and they need to be safe. One of the chants that a lot of the high schools have been using is the students united will never be divided and I think that that's just so important as we go into this trying to send the message that it's not about political parties, it's about our country and us as high school, middle school, elementary school students coming together Tonight at 10 o'clock, we will show you how they're preparing for that march, not just when it comes to making signs, but making sure they know how to peacefully exercise their First Amendment right to free speech and to protest. Just outside Washington, D.C., Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. And Jeff will continue to bring us stories from the march and rally in D.C. throughout the weekend on TV and on social media.